Hey class, it's Mrs. Hoffman. So I am starting us on chapter 10, lesson one. We just finished up chapter nine, or at least the part that we're gonna get to anyway. So we are now on to statistics, okay? Um, we're uh, looking at measures of center, and if you haven't done so already, if you didn't follow the instructions on Google Classroom, you need to pause this video, go back to page 434 and 435 and take some notes first, okay? And then come back and uh, watch the rest of this video. Okay, so what we're going to look at is, um, I know you guys know what mean, median, and mode are, and if you don't, you already took your notes, but I'm going to talk to you about when these are the most useful, okay? So the mean is going to be the most useful. That's where we add up all the data points and divide by the number of data points that we have. That's most useful when we have no extreme values, okay? I'm talking about really high numbers or really low numbers that don't really match the rest of our data set, okay? So if, um, if you're taking a look, if you want to find the average of our class, I'm going to be an outlier, okay, because I'm a lot older than you guys um, uh, in terms of age. Sorry, I guess I had to specify age. He um, average the age of our class. You know, it, uh, the average isn't going to make a lot of sense when you consider that I'm, you know, um, you know, well, let's just say more than 10 years older than you guys. Okay, next, the median. Um, the median is going to be best used when we have extreme values. So that would be the opposite of uh, what we would have, you know, when we when we do the mean. So if we do have those extreme values, for example, if you throw me in as an, as an extreme value for the age category, um, we might want to use the median. It would be more appropriate there, okay? And we also want to make sure that there's no big gaps in the middle of our data, all right? And last but not least, the mode is most useful when we have many repeated numbers, okay? Um, which kind of makes sense. If there's no repeated numbers, there's no sense in using the mode. Now, let's calculate some of the stuff on page 436. Go ahead and find example number three. Here we go. Pause if you need to. The table shows the number of sit-ups Pablo had done in one minute for the past seven days. Which measure of center best represents the data? Justify and find the measure of center. I'm going to do this the opposite way. We're going to find all three measures of center, okay, because that's probably what I'll ask you to do. And then what we will do is then we will find out uh, which one is best. So let's go ahead and calculate the mode real quick. That's that's the quick one. Um, let's see if there's any repeating numbers in this list. I'm looking at it, not a single one repeats. So right now we have no mode. Okay, well, you'll probably just have to write that down. Okay, I got it, I got it to work here. Okay, no mode. Um, next, let's go ahead and take a look at the median. We need to get these in order, so I'm gonna do that down below. We have 19. Come on, computer, you got this. 19, um, 37, maybe, maybe we got this. Okay, well, you're going to get them in order. My computer does not want to work with me right now. 19, then 37, then 40, then 45, 46, 49, and 50. Okay, if you have them all in order and if you didn't miss any, okay, you might want to cross them out as you go. It's a really good rule of thumb, cross them out as you go. Um, you will see that 45 is right in the middle. So let's see if this will write for me now. The median, there we go, is going to be 45. Okay, so we have no mode, but we have a median of 45. Last but not least, if we calculate the mean, we're going to add up all those numbers, 40 plus 37 plus 45, etc. You get a total of 286, and just remind yourself what we need to divide by. Yep, we need to divide by 7, and you get approximately 40.9. Okay, I rounded to the nearest tenth, as always, um, unless I'm dealing with money, and then I'm round to the nearest hundredth. But nearest tenth will do here. Um, now we need to look at which of these is the most appropriate. Okay, so if our mode is no mode, um, our mean is 40.5 oh goodness gracious i meant to say 40.9 this isn't working for me guys okay well the mean the, the me the me is 40.9 and the median is 45. um you're going to pick the median and why are we going to pick the median well oh, we got 29 seconds left if you look at this data set number 19 is so small compared to the rest of the other numbers. So this is what we're going to call an extreme value, an outlier, if you will. Okay, it, it lies outside where the normal range is. Um, and since that's the case, sorry about my alarm. Um, since that's the case, the median is the best bet for our answer. And that's how you would justify your answer. Okay, go ahead and get started on your homework.